Hello and welcome to Daily Red Video. In this episode, I like to share five reasons on why you should consider ScreenFlow as your screen recording and video editing software for Mac computer. There is a sixth bonus reason, which is a 5% discount available for our audience that you can find the link in the description of this video. If you're convinced by the end of this video in next few minutes that the reasons that I'm going to highlight convinced you, then you can proceed with the purchase, you know, to avail that 5% discount. When you click on it, it will take you to the checkout page and at the final checkout page, you will see the 5% discount automatically applied to it. So before that, I just want to give you a heads up on uh, this video is completely for beginners to understand uh, what is more than screen recording, uh, you know, with the video editing, how the software actually works and what are the features that it has and what the features that the ScreenFlow 10 latest version brings to your Mac computer. If you are looking for a basic screen recording solution, uh, if you are new for Mac computers, then the built-in QuickTime media player itself sufficient for many of us. I have done a video tutorial uh, in our recent video just one or two videos before. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well like you can see how QuickTime Media Player can be used to record either the portion of the screen or the entire Mac desktop computer. Not every product will be suitable for everyone. Just like iOS and Android, people have different choices based on their requirement. They need to make that choice. It is important for me to you know suggest right set of products to right set of audience so i will not simply say that this software will suit everyone so by the end of this video you need to understand whether these are the requirements you have or not and then proceed with the purchase that is very very important and enough talking let's see what screenflow 10 brings to the mac so i was using screenflow since version 3 or 4 i believe and i'm a big fan of this software and the recent version you know brings so many new features to the Mac screen recording and mainly you know more than screen recording this software is a powerful video editing application you know something stands between a regular video editor and you know kind of Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro level of video editing professional application this stands right in between and it has you know something above the average video editing software it has so many customizations and options a easy to use software and a software with less learning curve then you need to consider this software so after installing screen flow this is how the screen actually looks the prompt actually shows you hello and welcome to the screen flow 10 and the very first thing is you need to grant permission for uh, you know the recording inputs for microphone for camera and for the screen itself Mac OS has strict permissions in place so each application needs to be you know get access permission from its users so you can also revoke this permission if you don't want it to be uh, you know like recording your screen for purposes like screen capture or any other uh, purpose purposes if you have any privacy concern you can disable it or revoke it anytime from system preferences and security and privacy section and the next one is new recording here you will be selecting multiple inputs that you are planning to include in this video project uh, so here you can see the built-in retina display I have a dual display setup so both the displays are uh, given here and you can choose even multiple screens as well at the same time to be recorded this is new for ScreenFlow 10 uh, the previous versions didn't have it and any other screen recording softwares you know don't have this particular feature you have to select either one display input the desktop recording one camera and one microphone that sort of inputs can be selected for example if you're recording a podcast with your friend sitting next to you you can simply choose multiple cameras here you can choose multiple microphones here like here you can tap on the plus icon and you can keep on selecting multiple microphones and everything will start to you know fetch the inputs and start to record in to include in this video project this is kind of amazing which makes it you know screen flow to go far ahead compared to any other screen recording software there are very few screen recording apps available for Mac and I have tried most of them and personally you know ScreenFlow is my favorite so next one is the new document page like if it, you need a blank project and you have a video feeds recorded in your uh, separate digital camera or DSLR camera and you have audio inputs recorded from a microphone or internet downloaded content a blank document you know from this page and you can mention the screen dimension 
how it should actually look. If you're planning to create an Instagram uh, type of video, then you can simply select Instagram and the dimension will be automatically set. The, set the preset templates that are available here, you know, will be very useful for you to, you know, start with the project to decide on which device most of the users or the content is perfectly viewable. And you can select the frame rate of the timeline. And of course, while exporting, you will be selecting the frame rate, the bit rate of audio, the frame rate of the video, everything. And if you have created multiple videos, if you're running a YouTube channel, you follow a certain pattern of video editing, then you can save your videos as templates and you can use these templates, you know, quickly uh, to launch and input, you know, simply import all the videos and contents uh, to your project and start with the video editing task. And the recent documents, whatever the documents that you have uh, edited, then that will be visible here. So right now we are going to go with the blank page of 1080p HD document. For any video editing softwares, there are just three sections that you need to understand uh, to begin with. So the first one is the media library section, which is here located in the right section. For some softwares, it may be in the left side. So simply drag and drop any content or you can download, import recordings and everything, you know, to the media library and this library will help you to you know simply drag and drop any contents to the timeline area this is the second section of your video editing software so whatever the content that you put here will be played on the top section which is the third one the playback area so whatever editing you do you can preview it immediately uh, how the editing video output is going to actually look like the video audio images gifs or any contents that you simply insert should be done here and you can see i can uh, detach the audio and the audio is detached now when i click on this audio on the right top section in the media library section itself there are several other tiny buttons located that helps me to control the media file you know if i uh, want to adjust the size and position and the opacity and everything of the video file then or the any media content i can simply click on it and then the control options will appear here on the audio section simply i need to click on the audio and then i can adjust the volume of it overall volume if if the recording has less volume i can increase it to make it audible to uh, you know when the video output is generated and uh, if the volume levels should be smoother you know instead of all these red spikes or red bars as you can see from the recording uh, at the bottom the detached audio clip uh, that will be you know level will be smooth and when people hear it on headphones you know they will find kind of a soft level of tone across your audio content and uh, if you want to add any annotations you can do it for video tutorial creation this will be very useful if you want to add a simple text that you can add it here you can simply relocate you can adjust it and you can add some transition effects to it like right clicking on it and then add starting transition you can simply click on that uh, particular clip and you will see the transition area like how the transition should happen you can preview that and then you can apply that particular on how it actually looks like on the final video output so all these editing things can be done easily over here and you can even add their new uh, you know the screenflow 10 exclusive uh, thing is new title options i really like it and uh, here you can see that you can add some pre uh, set of headlines and how the text actually looks like welcome okay i'm really bad with the typing daily tat add okay i have added it and uh, by default you know it plays with some kind of transition effect so let me see how it actually works okay welcome daily to it so this sort of simple editing and uh, transition effects and you know to create a youtube video or any other you know short films or any video production work this software has so many other features other than simple to use uh, ui and interface this software has a very good knowledge base and support documents the telestream screenflow support team is excellent in my opinion whatever the questions you have you can write them an email or you can uh, simply you know use their supporting res resources their website and after you know you purchase the software you will have access to their uh, webinars to understand like what are the new features you know that comes in uh, updates and whenever there is a problem their uh, software update itself is quite good like mostly like two months once or three months once uh, they frequently update their software to fix any bugs specific to a particular mac computer that is reported to them a software update is very important uh, which i personally consider uh, for any application to make sure that it fixes all security flaws
across and provides the video recording application a very stable environment to help us edit without any crashes and hangs. Another important reason is it utilizes the Mac hardware fully. Either you have Intel based processor with a good GPU configured in it, either the MacBook Pro, Mac Mini or iMac system and you have latest M1 Mac machine, ScreenFlow 10 is fully optimized for the M1 Mac computer as well. It utilizes the full potential of the CPU and GPU. At the same time, it also uses the neural engine to help you, you know, remove the background of any video project that you're actually working in. This is a new feature for the ScreenFlow 10 software and uh, this is kind of interesting. Like for videos without green screen technology, you can uh, simply remove the background if you have a proper blur effect set, I believe because when it comes to background removal for images itself I see so many applications online uh, that fails to do that mainly because if the video is not completely you know uh, shot in a 50 mm lens uh, with good blur effect you know that will definitely become a difficult task for the artificial intelligence to remove the background. So with the video, you can do that task uh, with the latest ScreenFlow 10 version. And the next one is the archive storage feature. Like if you want to save some file, you know, while editing the video, if you're removing a particular uh, clip from, uh, you know, if you remove any unnecessary clip from uh, the timeline, then most of the video editors, you know, simply keeps that uh, video file size you know untouched that you know kind of puts load on your memory on your gpu and you know sometimes if you're working on a heavy project that kind of you know causes some hangs and hiccups with your video editing workflow so what screenflow does is with the help of archive storage if you are removing any specific video clip uh, then that video will be uh, removed permanently and uh, this particular clip will not you know reflect in the total this is definitely kind of a very useful feature with the m1 mac machine they have you know throttled the performance level of video editing and rendering and everything you know uh, to something extraordinary with your screen recording if you are using your uh, usb camera or a facetime camera uh, to be included in the video project then that particular recording will be 250 percent smaller without any you know big loss in the quality uh, with your video project that is really huge you know compared to ScreenFlow 9 the earlier version it will be uh, a huge compression and uh, they also make 75 percent less CPU consumption and for thumbnail creation and everything when you scroll through the video feed it will be like 300 percent faster on M1 Mac machines while exporting on M1 Mac machines uh, it now exports with 66 percent faster exporting time that is definitely huge you know compared to the ScreenFlow 9 this one has so many potential for dedicated for m1 mac machines so if you have recently purchased a m1 mac computer then considering this will definitely be very helpful to you along with the list of basic features that i have uh, shared in this episode ScreenFlow video editing software also brings plenty of other features that you can check from their website and don't forget to get a five percent discount that i have included in the link of this video and another important thing is they do offer 30 days refund policy 100% refund policy so take a trial you know by clicking on the link in the description or even if you purchase it to use the software fully and if you're not satisfied with the purchase then you can of course file for a refund and with a very less learning curve without any paying for you know for add-ons or for components you don't have to pay out so many dollars hundreds of dollars after buying this project there is a yearly renewal of course which you know can be availed with some extra discount during the black friday and cyber monday time and i will update this particular video's description whenever there is some extra offers more than five percent comes up and for you know both the new license and for users who want to upgrade their existing licenses if you don't want to miss those offers then don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for your valuable time and i hope this video helped you decide uh, to whether to consider this software whether it will fit for your requirement or not thanks for watching have a wonderful day